generation of Apple Silicon for the Mac. Introducing M2. It takes the breakthrough performance and capabilities of M1 even further. To tell you more, I'll pass it over to Johnny. Today we begin our second generation of Apple Silicon designed specifically for the Mac. The m series chips deliver a scalable range of performance and capabilities. It began with M1's breakthrough set of features that transformed our most popular systems. M2 starts the second generation of m series chips and goes beyond the remarkable features of M1. Unlike others in the industry, who significantly increase power to gain performance, our approach is different. We continue to have a relentless focus on power efficient performance. In other words, maximizing performance while minimizing power consumption. Combined with our unified memory architecture and custom technologies, this focus on power efficiency allows M2 to bring even more performance and new capabilities to our most popular Macs. M2 is built using an enhanced second generation 5 nanometer technology and features over 20 billion transistors. That's 25% more than M1. We use those transistors to enhance every feature of the chip, starting with the memory controller, which delivers 100 gigabytes per second of unified memory bandwidth, which is 50% more than M1 for even greater performance. And because M1 is so capable, users run all sorts of demanding tasks. So for M2, we've enabled up to 24 gigabytes of unified memory to handle even larger and more complex workloads. M2 features our next generation CPU with advancements in both the performance and efficiency cores. The performance cores are faster and feature a larger cache, and the efficiency cores have been significantly enhanced for even greater performance gains. Together, they rip through CPU intensive tasks using very little power. When we look at the multi-core CPU performance of M2 compared to M1, it delivers 18% greater performance. And compared to the latest 10 core PC laptop chip, the CPU in M2 delivers nearly two times faster performance at the same power level. And M2 delivers the peak performance of the PC chip while using a quarter of the power. Now let's compare M2 to the latest 12 core PC laptop chip, which needs dramatically more power to deliver an increase in performance. So it's in a thicker, hotter, more noisy system with less battery life. M2 delivers nearly 90% of the peak performance of the 12-core chip while using just a quarter of the power. This is what we mean by the power-efficient performance of Apple Silicon. M2 also features our next-generation GPU, which now has up to 10 cores. That's two more than M1. Combined with a larger cache and higher memory bandwidth, the 10-core GPU delivers a big boost in graphics performance. M2 delivers up to 25% higher graphics performance at the same power level as M1 and up to 35% higher performance at its max. And compared to the integrated graphics in the latest PC laptop chip, the GPU in M2 delivers 2.3 times faster performance at the same power level. And M2 delivers the peak performance of the PC chip using just one fifth of the power. This much higher performance per watt from M2 enables systems to run cool and quiet with exceptional battery life. Now, one of the advantages of making our own silicon is that we can quickly bring our newest custom technologies across our SOCs. So M2 also features our next generation secure enclave and neural engine. The neural engine in M2 can process up to 15.8 trillion operations per second. That's over 40% more than M1. It also has our next generation media engine, including a higher bandwidth video decoder that supports 8K H.264 and HEVC video. And M2 features our powerful ProRes video engine for hardware accelerated encode and decode. So systems with M2 will be able to play back multiple streams of 4K and 8K video. So that's M2. It starts our next generation of M series chips with an 18% faster CPU, 35% faster GPU, 40% faster neural engine, and 50% more memory bandwidth. It takes the amazing performance, capabilities, and efficiency of M1 even further. 